So hey guys, let's see what's inside the retouch section of the Magic Touch panel. As you can see, we have skin section, eye section, lips and hair. Let's see what's inside skin. We have frequency separation, quick and pro, dodge and burn and even skin tone. We also have a feature which is called Easy Skin and IHP, which is inverted high pass. In this tutorial, let's dive into frequency separation because a lot of people just send us tons of emails asking what frequency separation is and how to use it. So we have quick and pro. Pro means that if you are a pro user and you really know what you are doing, you can set your own values. If you still don't know what frequency separation is, just press the quick one and we will apply the most common settings on the frequency separation. Be aware that the most common settings are not the best ones for every kind of image, because every project needs different settings. So if you are really just starting with frequency separation, just try this one and try to understand what it is really about. So as you can see, now we have a folder called Clean Skin. If you open it, by the way, it's already opened when you click the Quick Skin feature, you will see a high pass layer and a low pass layer. If we hide the high pass layer, we will see just tones and colors. So this means basically that, that on this layer, you can smooth out the tones and the transitions of the colors and the tones inside this image. For example, you can take this part and smooth it out with this other part. For example, you can do it in many, many ways, but one of these is just take the lasso tool, set the feather on 20 pixels or something like that. It of course depends on the image you are using. And you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and you just try to smooth out the transition between this light area and this darker area. Okay, so this is for example what you can do. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is just an introduction to frequency separation so you know what it is really about, okay? So let's see what's the high pass. The high pass are the details. Okay, so you are basically working on these blemishes here and all the texture you have inside the image. If you hide the high pass, you see on the low pass you, you don't have any reference, any trace of the texture of the skin. So basically all the texture is on the high pass layer. If I turn off the background layer and the low pass layer, you see that you have just a 50% gray layer with all the blemishes and the texture skin details. Okay, so now what you can do on the high pass layer? You can just clean your skin without being worried about touching colors and tones. So you can use whatever you like, spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool, patch tool, clone stamp tool. It really depends what kind of image you're working on. For example, on this kind of image, you can use the spot healing brush tool and no harm will be basically made because the skin is not that detailed on this image. If you are working on a very high-end image with a lot of details in the skin and you see the direction of the pores and it's a really high-end image, you should probably use the clone stamp tool in order to control what is really going on inside your image. So something like this would be 100% better because you are choosing by your own which part of the texture clone and make it work just perfectly according to your needs, right? So this is the way you can clean up 
the texture part. So let's see the before and after of this image. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, we are already cleaning the skin and the whole process is quite fast. So the frequency separation basically means separate the image in in this case in two layers one for the details and the texture and one for the colors and the tones of the skin keep in mind that in the upcoming releases of the magic touch panel we are going to introduce new frequency separations which will be much more advanced than this one you see in this video. So I hope all of you who asked us what frequency separation really is now understand better what it's about and how to work with it. Let's see how the Pro version works. So let's click on the Pro. In the middle of the process uh, we just need to focus on the skin and we have to decide what we want to keep in the low layer and what we want to have on the high layer. So basically we can also decide that we want to keep just the overall tones like this and everything else what you don't see here will be transferred on the high texture level. Of course you can select also something like this and this means that portion of the blemishes will be on the low layer and the detailed part of the blemishes will be on the high layer. So it's really up to you what you want to do with the frequency separation and which final result you want really to achieve. So for example, we can decide to have something like this, click on OK, and we have another beautiful clean skin frequency separation. So now we can clean up and create beautiful transition on the tones and colors and clean up the high layer as you can see here. So again, I would recommend to go here and just clean all these blemishes, working with patience and just listening to your preferred music, take some time and clean up the skin. Guys, you have to keep in mind that every retoucher has its own style and cleaning the skin by hand is another way to express yourself. So what will really differentiate you from other retouchers is your own approach, it's your own style. So maybe you can decide to leave, for example, this this texture here because maybe this sign is her specific sign it's like not an imperfection right so maybe you can just leave it there and because other futures can remove this part and you will remove an important part of her characteristic like also this this part here we can decide to remove it but we can also decide to leave it right or like these three blemishes here we should leave them because it's a characteristic of the person it's not an imperfection and uh, while doing this job you will learn a lot about uh, about characteristics of people and uh, and how to clean the skin while keeping their expressions and they, 
the characteristics. So this is just a quick example. So before and after, before and after. And of course you can go down here and use the lasso tool or maybe you saw tutorials about the mixer brush tools and there is really a lot of ways to to smooth out the tones you can see this part is darker this part is lighter so one of the ways is just to use the blur Gaussian blur and just decide radius to smooth it a little bit out you see before and after before and after click ok put it here and let's see before and after before and after and these are really basics it's like it's not like the magic button like we have with the easy skin or the inverted high pass or the new amazing features which will be released in the upcoming version this is like the traditional approach to to skin retouching and it's the best way to learn to retouch skin and find your own style. Okay guys, so I hope this introduction to frequency separation was useful to you and um, I will do a lot of other tutorials very soon on the other sections, so the retouch section, the looks section, the face warp section, which is, which, which is just amazing the effects section which is just if you haven't seen that just dive in it you can you can make it snow you can create rain literally from nothing and just play with this panel because i work in retouching for 22 years and i have to say it's like just amazing shortcut to focus more on creativity and less on the technical part so hey guys, enjoy the panel. If you still don't have it, you can download it from the link below. I put it in the description and see you on the next tutorial.